The Boobold's Nature Preserve in Appleton is holding a candle making event today. And that's what Pauline is doing this morning in Appleton. Hi, Pauline. Hey, good morning, Doug and Emily. Good morning, everyone. Take a look at the setup here. We've got quite the operation going. Alyssa with Broken Wing Candles is going to be teaching this afternoon's event. So Alyssa, what kind of candles are we making? Um, today we're going to be making soy wax candles. Oh. Um, we've got a variety of scents that people can choose from. So this took a little bit of prep work. We shot yeah. some video earlier. Let's take a look at that. Alyssa, walk us through what it takes to kind of get these candles going here. Sure. So you start out with one pound of wax. That'll make, that's enough to make two candles. And um, I've got a double boiler here. So we went ahead and um, melted that to 175 degrees. Once we got it to 175 degrees, I added some um, wax dye chips and stirred those in. Once I got it up to 185 degrees, I added one ounce of um, Day at the Spa fragrance, which is what we're going to be making today. Smells beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> and um, they're going to be gold candles. And then once it got up to 185 degrees, we kind of kept it on the double boiler to make sure that the fragrance was going to mix in. And then after that, we have to set it to the side and let it cool down to 135 degrees, which is where we are right now. Okay, so that's where we are right now. Yep. Um, so what do we do now? All right, so now it comes time to pour. Okay. We have it down to 135 degrees, so we're gonna go ahead and give it one last stir to make sure that the fragrance is incorporated. All right. Now, why is temperature so important? So it's most important to get it up to 185 to add the fragrance because that gives it a really strong base. Mm -hmm. um, you'll get the best scent that way because the fragrance is able to incorporate with the wax. Okay, and let's pour it in there. All right. Got a nice funnel. Mm -hmm. Makes it easy. And we already glued the, the wicks in there. Yep, so I pre-glued the wicks okay. in. Um, these are the proper sized wicks for these jars, so. Okay. Any special technique to pour in? Um, <laughs> try not to be too shaky. <laughs> <laughs> so then after this, you just let it set? Yep, so we'll go ahead and tap on it a couple times just to make sure that you get all the air bubbles out. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and center the wicks. All right. And so now while she's Oops. doing that, uh, Christine, okay. this is the first of um, several events that are going to go on here at Boobles. Tell me about it. Well, this is the first in a new series we're having called Earthly Creations, Arts and Crafts Series at Boobles Nature Preserve. So this is the first one. We have Alyssa making soy candles with us. Mm -hmm. Next month we're doing a spa day where you can make different lotions and soaps and scented things. We're doing watercolor painting later in the year, mm -hmm. um, all sorts of fun things. So something we're going to do once a month on a Sunday so people can come out on a Sunday afternoon and join us to make some earthly creations. All right. So if you wanted to join in on this afternoon's fun, uh, don't forget to give Boobles a call. We have all the information on our website. These are going to be the final products once they, once they harden. So next hour, we're going to try something a little different. We're going to do layered candles. We're going to take it up a notch. It'll be fun. What a cool project to do, especially, you know, it's beautiful right. out there, so you can still enjoy the snow, but then head indoors and make those candles. Really cool, Pauline. Thanks so fun. much. Stay warm. <laughs> yeah. yeah.